can I can I just stop you for one second and ask why? Why have we made uh, not made more strides in robotics? Uh, we made a mistake 50 years ago. We thought that the brain is a computer. But you see, the brain is not a digital computer. There's no Windows. There's no Pentium chip. There's huh. no software. There's no programming. There's no subroutines. Uh, the brain is not a digital computer. It's a learning machine. It's called a neural network. It learns, and it changes itself after it learns, right? Now, your laptop today is just as stupid as it was yesterday because laptops never change. They never learn anything. And that's the difference between a digital computer robot and a human brain. The brain does one thing, learn, okay? It doesn't right. compute. It doesn't add. It doesn't subtract like what ordinary robots do. Robots my, are my, my Windows 7 does not learn. Right. And, you know, robots are adding machines, very sophisticated. So it gives you the appearance that it's thinking, but it's actually not thinking at all. It's just right, adding. Right, right. Well, we are learning machines. And uh, that's why at uh, Fukushima, we have robots that can't even turn a screwdriver. It's well. that bad. And um, I get a chance to, you know, interview these people, talk to them, go to their laboratories and stuff. And it's just staggering what we can do when you connect the mind to a computer. Uh, the mind connected to a computer can now move objects around like telekinesis, uh, oh, you know, move wheelchairs, uh, household appliances. Uh, we can move the cursor on a computer screen. Anything you can do on a computer can be done by the brain connected to uh, a laptop computer. And huh. so uh, we can now even read certain thoughts. Uh, certain thoughts can be transmitted from brain to brain. So telepathy is not totally out of the question. Why does and, a computer help? I mean, a little while ago, you were complaining of the stupidity of computers. Yeah, I mean, computers the, cannot create original thoughts or learn anything. However, yes. they're good adding machines. And what they oh, yes. do is they, they, they take the uh, electrical signals of the brain, and we write a subroutine that then decodes them and translates these um, signals of the brain into something that's recognizable, which can then be used to drive a wheelchair, an appliance, a mechanical arm. And so people who are totally paralyzed, who are vegetables, can now live a reasonably, <laughs> reasonably normal life, communicating, playing video games, and interacting with the world. Uh, being so we up. would be using a computer then as sort of a, a bridge to whatever we want to happen. Yeah, this is called synthetic telepathy, uh, not the telepathy a la magicians and magic shows in Las Vegas, okay. but uh, using computers to decipher thoughts.